Hi, welcome to Katia V5 video tutorial. It's another part for my seven cylinder radial engine, one of the pistons. Let's take a look at the drawing. So here it is, and you could make a screenshot of that drawing and then follow this exercise step by step if you want. So let's have fun with Katia V5. So in order to make it a little bit more interesting, I want to do it in two bodies. So let's insert another body and go for a sketch on the YZ plane. In this case, I want to use those Y and H parallelisms, so I don't want to hide them. It's just a decision you have to make. So I need a profile maybe like that okay, it goes up it goes here goes there here up over there up here up there like this and then it goes up over here and I want to snap on all those H and V directions because it saves time. Now this should be a center line. Yes, and then I need some constraints. So this here could be a diameter and that diameter would be 124. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Now, let's dimension this like this. Just go for those values which are already here and then change it afterwards okay so this should be six this should be eight this one should be ten next one should be twelve seventeen and the last one is 20. Okay, now let's add another one from this line to that one here and make it a diameter as well. And this would be 120. Now let's put this point here onto the projected origin. And add that last dimension. That dimension should be 66. Yeah, 66. Okay, leave that sketch and make a shaft and confirm. Great. Maybe switch to a different view style like this. Now I could hide that body and insert a new one. And there I want to go for extrudes. So let's put a sketch on the XY plane. I need a circle. I could put that on that projection here. And the diameter would be 112. I'll leave that sketch and let's make an extrude in set direction. And the distance would be 15. Then I need another sketch on the same plane. Take a look. Here, yeah, let's 
turn it around and I need an elongated hole which is available right here let's put it there like this now this should be 25 and that should be 55 then put this one onto that yellow one coincident and let's go for symmetry this point and that point should be symmetric to yet yellow redirection so you have to decide if you want to go for that axis system in the background or for the sketch axis so i in this case i go for those yellow projected elements let's leave that sketch let's make another extrude and with this one should be 60 millimeter like that now let's make on this plane another sketch it's a y set plane yes i want to go for a circle diameter should be 15 this would be from that sketch axis away 33 millimeters and of course this point should be aligned with that yellow redirection like that okay now make an extrude make it symmetric mirror to extend and let's go for 60 60 is 120 and i want to go for let's say 70 in both directions that should do okay now bring back that body let's put this body into the part body with a boolean operation add this body to the part body confirm and then subtract this body from the part body and okay and I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.